Hey, mail call. Ooh, you want to have fun? Okay. Grab the red box. I didn't get your, apparently I didn't get your favorite. Yeah. Huh. So we'll, you know, I didn't try to get everything, but um, again, for tools and materials, uh, not so long ago, HEPA shop vacs were really expensive and cordless HEPA shop vacs are really expensive. Now there's a whole crop of them out there that are less than 200 bucks. Well, and, and the, there's the battery power to run them. Exactly, yeah. Um, this one is Milwaukee, and it's, this one's a little bit bulky, but it's, it works with their pack-out system, you know, that you can rack everything together in the kind of sustainer style. Um, yeah, yep, need a new computer. Drop a battery in. And everything stores nicely. And I was really... Uh, Pretty impressed. And do these do uh, wet? These will do, do wet. wet. Yep, they're wet, dry. Um, so this one has two speeds. So this got a surprising amount of suction. Yeah. I'm interested to see what the runtime on these yeah, will be. You know, you know, I, I don't I know how you're going to test that necessarily, I but I, to be honest, I'm not. Um, they'll go for a long time. I mean, some of them say an hour, some of them say two hours. If you're vacuuming for an hour, your shop must look like mine. Um, well, it's probably not really the tool for that. Yeah, exactly. And this probably wouldn't be my choice for um, wet either, just because, you know, not really all that necessary. I mean, unless I spill my beer in my shop, <laughs> I'm probably yeah. okay. Actually, I, I usually don't spill until about my fifth beer, and then I really shouldn't be in the shop anymore anyway, so. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, cordless tool vacs. Um, there's actually one that's interesting. We didn't unbox it, but it's sitting over there. Um, yeah, we we kind of get surprised by Hercules, the Harbor Freight brand. Yeah. Um, and there's, it's only 90 bucks, spare tool. And the interesting with it interesting thing with it is it's the only one that also has uh yeah so you can use this blower too well that's kind of cool oh that one's taped up hercules so, but this one in addition to the battery it's the only one that has a 120 volt plug too so if you run out of battery power battery's dead. you can plug it in i took the battery out see a blower a blower you can do your how hair. many of these can do that uh actually all of them can do blower Except the so, one, one you didn't get in. Except the one I didn't get in, the one that Kevin wanted. The, the reason I didn't get that is because I wanted to be able to test it before it actually left and went to your shop. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know what else is in the in the mail bag. Ah, yes. Something um, from Craig. Something from Craig. You can never tell when it comes from Craig because it doesn't say Craig in big, huge letters on it or anything. It's very, dis very described. Um, this, this looks interesting. I'm anxious to give this a go. And this might not be um, every uh, person with a, with a dedicated workshop, but let's see if we can get this thing out of here. Let me catch the box now. That is a box. That is a box. Yep. So, <coughs> portable work surface. What's, you know, so there's legs, obviously, that would go under it. Here, have a couple legs. I know from experience that'll hold the little uh, container of screws. Mm -hmm. um, and then it has different different clamping kind of a options. Little mini, mini assembly table for yeah. your pocket screws? And, what's, and, and for whatever. You know, <laughs> a lot of people don't have a really good shop space. I mean, it's amazing how many people work on a on a, you know, a folding table in their driveway instead of having a, a good bench top. Mm -hmm. And then you're really limited on clamping. But the thing that's interesting with this too is it comes with this licorice, the grippy stuff that you pound down into these grooves. So then it gives it a little bit of shtick. Hmm. Cool. Um, so yeah, it's got some, some bench dogs. So that you can, you know, I, I wouldn't I wouldn't go to all this effort with my fresca.
that you, you know, <laughs> God forbid that you spill your beer when you're out there working. So you can clamp that baby down. Yeah, that's cool. Yep. Makes it hard to so drink the beer. So what's with the uh, clamp? How does uh, that work into this? Oh, let's see. I got to get it open here. Again, the challenge for me is not using the tool. It's getting it out of the packaging. Um, I think, if I recall right, these are their fairly new um, trigger style clamps. And these we have tested, carry tested these, and these will be coming up in an issue. But with these, uh, you can go hold down through the table and create a hold down. Very nice. With these, you can go, with this, you can go in line. Yeah, so I'm anxious to see how it is with that that grip surface. You know, there's a number of these portable bench tops around, um, but their unique take is is putting that stuff in. So it'd be cool to see how it works. Yeah. And this one, and Like I you hope, said, for somebody that has a small space, hmm. small shop, maybe doesn't have a big workbench. Or, well, or, you know, I mean, this would be great on your tailgate. I mean, I, you know, I help friends with projects all the time and haul a whole pickup load of tools to their house and... Then if I don't want to haul a big, you know, folding bench or whatever along, you know, my big workmate or whatever, mm -hmm. pitch this on your tailgate top and you got a work spot. So yeah, um, I mean, this one's gonna get out to a tester right away here. Cool. Yeah.